Lane Community College has joined the growing number of campuses requiring students to get vaccinated before returning to class next term. Good morning, it's 5 o'clock on Thursday, July 22nd. I'm Chris Lewinberg. And I'm Jimmy Hayes. LCC's Board of Education voted last night to become a fully vaccinated campus in the fall. KZI 9 News reporter Jacob Roberts joins us live from LCC's downtown campus. Jacob, can you tell us what this means for students? Well, Chris, students and employees will need to be vaccinated before they're able to walk through the doors of this campus here come the fall term. The university and its board said that they are following the recommendation of health officials and following the science. But more than that, they also asked the community and they said that around 70% of students already got the vaccine or plan to. And for employees, that number is over 90%. Now, the CDC recognizes two types of campuses in higher education. There's fully vaccinated campuses and non fully vaccinated campuses. A fully vaccinated campus is one that can verify that all employees and students have been vaccinated against COVID-19. For fully vaccinated campuses, the recommendation for masks and social distancing are removed. LCC said that they conducted research, surveys, discussions, town halls and analysis and requiring the vaccine was the best option. Employees said that the mask mandate worked well, so this should too. Having a mandate works and that it is far easier than encouraging right behavior towards one another. Not leaving it up to personal choice makes everyone safer in a pandemic. The University of Oregon will also be a fully vaccinated campus and LCC said many students have dual credits at both campuses, so it just makes sense. Oregon State University also will require vaccines in the fall. LCC does plan to start an awareness campaign to let students, faculty and staff know about the new requirements. They're also planning a vaccine lottery to help incentivize students to get the shot. Live in Eugene, Jacob Roberts, KEZI 9 News.